Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another episode here in our Grounded series. The first episode I thought honestly went about as smooth as we could possibly hope for. We got ourselves a little rotisserie, we got ourselves a place to sleep, and we've got a storage basket. And we also did a lot, I wouldn't say a lot, we did a few of the main objectives. We repaired the little uh, bathroom scale Infinity War time hopping thingy majiggy. I don't have a technical name for it. Don't sue me. And uh, on today's episode, I think we're gonna um, we're gonna venture out a little bit into the unknown and try to find the explosion at the oak tree. Or who knows? I don't know how far away that is, and uh, we may end up getting distracted into <laughs> wanting to do something else along the way. I don't necessarily know where the oak tree is. Yeah, I, honestly, no idea. No idea what we're gonna do today, but we're gonna have fun doing it, and I can promise you that. I appreciate you guys tuning in, and uh, without further ado, let's get uh, let's get cracking on today's episode. You know how I want to start out today's episode? I want to, I really want to, craft ourselves a hammer. That's what I really want to do. So we need three sprigs, four pebblets, and one woven fiber. That's easy. Let's go on into this over here. We need pebblets, sprigs, and we're going to need fiber. We'll just do that. Bam. I'm starting to get used to the way this system is uh, works in this game. It's taken me a little bit, but I am indeed getting used to it. Okay, so we'll go here. I still wish there was like a control click that we could use. I would, um, that would make life a lot, a lot simpler. But I want to go back to uh, this this tripod over here. And if you guys remember, when we went down into the cave, there was an area that was blocked by something that you needed a hammer. So I want to go explore, and I want to go see what the hell that is all about. And in the meantime, we're gonna be, we're gonna honestly be grabbing anything and everything that we could ever think of that we need. Because I feel like we're at the point where um, we want to get all sorts of resources. So uh, whenever the time does come that we want to stop exploring and we find a good place to set up a permanent camp, we need to be ready for that moment. So that's what we're gonna do. My mom always says I light up a room. Pete, you are a cornball, buddy. How many times are you gonna say the same damn thing over and over again? I appreciate the enthusiasm, but like, shut up. This will be a good time to show you guys this. Something else that I learned in the time between episode one and episode two. So you cut down the grass, right? And it makes the grass planks. But if you keep chopping, yeah. If you keep chopping the uh, the trunk, it'll, uh, it'll turn into a whole bunch of plant fibers. And plant fibers are a very, very, very useful resource in this game. Uh, I just realized we need water. I don't, you would think that there would be a way for us to like, I wouldn't say make water, but maybe like hold water besides the canteen. You think there'd be some way to have a uh, sustainable water source in this game. Uh, but I don't know, maybe we just haven't found the right resource to craft it, so it's not available yet. That's one of the, uh, that's one of the things that I really, really enjoy about um, the raft style analyzing system is that you never know until you find something new if, uh, if if you're done finding everything in the game, if that makes any kind of sense. So as soon as you find something new in the game, you know that it's probably gonna correlate to a new recipe or a multitude of new recipes. I just love that that sense of exploration and that sense of finding something new. But what I don't love is not being able to find some damn agua. H2O. Gatorade. H2O. Gatorade. H2O. Water sucks. It really, really sucks. Water sucks. Oh, God. Guys, we're looking for one dewdrop. Are you telling me Pete, the alpha male himself, cannot find the single dew droplet? Is that, is that what you're telling me right now? I don't believe it. 
I think you're full of shit. Pete is the most alpha male this backyard has ever seen. And by God, he's going to find himself a dew droplet. This is not how I thought I would start this episode off by uh, wandering around in the grass for 10 minutes trying to find a single drop of fucking liquid, man. <laughs> Hello! Oh wait, what the hell is this? <laughs> it's like a tic-tac box. Ice caps mint container. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, I see a dew drop over there. Perfect. Can we get in this? That's grass. Wait, did we just open it? Oh, <laughs> we did. That's awesome. Okay, so we can't break through that. So that'll be a new resource if we can get to a level two axe. I don't know if we need to make a workbench for us to be able to get that or not. Uh, we'll just have to we'll just have to get that and see. Now the trickiest part is which one is this hanging on? Is it this one? Nice and clean. Nami nami. One thing that I'm going to be absolutely terrified of, and I guarantee, I, I don't even have to see it. I would almost bet my entire life on it, is the fact that there's probably going to be a bee and or wasp in this game. And for those of you guys that don't know, bees and wasps are my mortal sworn enemy. I don't know why I have a extremely irrational fear of bees and wasps, but I do. They scare the absolute shit out of me. Don't even need Beyond toilet. reasonable comprehension. I, like I said, I really don't know why. But they do. Wait, is this some juice? It's like a different color. Oh, it gave me some energy. Yeah, we got some juice. Give me the juice. And there's some more over there. Oh, that's a big bubble. Oh, so you can take multiple slurps from it. Oh, that's sweet. Okay. Back to my task at hand. Pete, the alpha male. He is fueled up. He's got his juice box. And we are ready to go explore this cavern. We're here. Ooh, y'all like that little flick? By the power of Helion, champion of the sun. What are you saying, Pete? Oh, come here, buddy. An aphid, an aphid. Raw aphid meat. A stuffed aphid. I hope I'm saying that right. I'm probably not. Okie dokie. I think we grabbed some of these before. So this is quartzite. No idea what it is. Legitimately not a single clue. We also need to make sure that we keep analyzing every new thing that we find. That's going to be a little difficult to, um, to figure out. New crafting ideas, repair tool, and we discovered quartzite. Hey yeah! Come on, Pete, you're an alpha male, buddy! Yeah! Show him who's boss, Pete! Just like Minecraft, Pete! Just like Minecraft. Okay, we're getting a lot of this stuff. I don't know what we need it for, but we're getting a lot of it. Hello? What what's moving? Y'all see this? Oh. So it's our, our research science, I think is the name of that. I'm not 100% sure. I know it's something. It's a scab. You discovered a scab data. Scab. The scab is a cutting edge biomonitoring scanner bracelet system and a familiar wristwatch form factor. The device appears to also send and receive FM stereo signals. Okay, what is this? Oh, it's our scab OS. Oh, we can change the scheme. So that's why it changes at night. Oh, so you can choose. What's the Might Rider look like? Well, that is cool with a gray. Um, Let me try a different one. What about LCD? Ooh, I like that with the purple, with like the, the teal and the pink. Okay. 
And then let's try high contrast. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's my favorite. That's 100% my favorite. Just because of the blue. Okay, we need to hurry and get out of here though because of our torch is running out of running out of light here. So let's mine this last bit of quartzite and let's get out of here. Before we lose all sense of the light. Because I don't think we have enough to make another one. And I don't want to try to get out of here uh, with it being with it being dark. That would uh that would not be good. Oh god, there's a lot. I don't know. Oh god. Okay, I think we got enough. We can always come back, Pete. We can always come back, buddy. Okay, I honestly thought that was um, that was gonna be some kind of extraterrestrial being there, but it wasn't. Oh, it's a ladybug. I don't know if we've seen the ladybug. Hi. 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 Oh, ladybug, don't play no shit. I just stole your meat. Are you mad? Hi! Hi! <laughs> That's so cool! Oh! It's giving me... Oh, when it goes... It goes mad. It's like a, a mama bear. Okay. You go on about your day. Wait, is this some more stuff we can mine? Clay. It is. We need a shovel. What do we need to make a shovel? Oh, we don't even know. We have no idea. Um, okay. Well, we need a shovel for that. We've got a lot of things we can research. We've got... Just, there's so many new things in this game. Look at all this, this quartzite that we have. We also have Ifid Honeydew. A sweet secretion from aphids that restores a small amount of thirst. It's drinkable. It heals. Oh, it heals. It's a healing component. And it's edible. So it gives you heals... Water and energy. Oh man, that's elite. Let's analyze the aphid. The aphid. I'm gonna say that wrong every single time. Raw science. That's what it was. <laughs> we can make some aphid slippers. We are gonna have to make ourselves some pretty cool mechanics here before too long. I noticed it also says hauling, so I don't know if. Oh, a dew collector. So I don't know if we're gonna be able to like make a vehicle or a wheelbarrow or something. I have no idea. Not a single clue. I think our next point of business is gonna be to make a dew collector and possibly a canteen. I feel like a canteen would be really good, but I don't even know how we get grubs. Maybe with the shovel that we need to get the clay, that would that would be a good guess. We can dig underneath the ground and get them. We also need to make the dew collector. This thing's huge. That thing's huge. We gotta get spider silk, which is honestly terrifying. Beautiful, beautiful. And then once we build this, we can go on and explore, which actually we may have to go exploring either way. Just to be able to to be able to make it, because I have no idea how we're gonna get spider silk. I don't have a clue. Choke it down, Pete. Yeah, Pete, you're a tough guy. Alpha male, Pete. Eat your veggies, kid. Okay, I wonder. Oh, let's go back to the. Um, let's go back to the juice box. I bet there's still some juice over here. Where was it at? Wasn't it over here? Yeah, right over here. Bunch of stigs and... We do be needing some plant fiber. Oh yeah, baby, this is perfect, perfect, perfect. Slurp it down. So that's good to know. That seems like that will pretty much always be there. All right. We need to cut cut down some of this to get some plant fiber.
Dandelions would be better, but it'll be all right. Alpha male Pete working his ass off in the summer heat. Oh, that was a good little. That was a good little tune. Alpha male Pete working his ass off in the summer heat. Yeah. Oh, baby, that sounds. That seems like a tune for Pete if I've ever heard it. All right, we're gonna keep chopping away. Pretty soon we are gonna need to, to make new, new tools though, because our durability is running a little bit low. Unless we can figure out how to upgrade it. But I don't want to make a workbench till we find somewhere that we can make our forever home. We're well in our ways. Another small little detail that I've noticed at the gnats, while they do hit you, they do absolutely no damage. So, just like gnats in real life, they're just annoying little fox that are always just right there, man. So they did a good job in the... Uh, Making that relation in this game too because they are they are mad annoying when they start getting the beat on you Okay, so all all we need is spider silk um, I'm a little afraid of how exactly we're gonna need to get that But there's only uh, there's only one good way To find out and that is by exploring boys, so we're gonna we're gonna venture off into the great unknown That is this backyard and see if we can find us some spider silk and possibly investigate the explosion at the oak tree. It looks like, I assume that's the oak tree, so we have a pretty good bearing on where we need to go for that. Using our, our astute alpha male survival skills that Pete has, we're going to make it just fine. I feel like we don't have very long to get there, but I feel like we also have an eternity before we get there. I'm nervous. For what, uh, what we're about to find. We're going to take the high ground. So we can get a good... Oh, actually. Hold up. I got an idea, boys. Okay, are you guys ready for this? So we're going to put that there. We're going to equip it. Bam. Watch this. Are you guys ready to fly? Whoa! Look at Pete go! The alpha male himself descending down from the heavens with an absolutely sex appealing bowl cut to match. Truly one of a kind Pete is. Okay, what is this? Oh, an Ifid. Come here, little bugger. There we go. So now we can make our little slippers. We're continuing about our, our way, boys. Keeping an eye out for anything that could cause beat harm. Abandoned anthill. A word? What is this, buddy? You little fuck. I mean, I kind of... I kind of need to go see what's happening down there, no? We need three dry grass chunks and another sprig. We can do that. We should be able to do that pretty easily. There's dry grass right here. Gimme, gimme, gimme. And then we need a sprig. Oh wow, this one dropped a lot, holy cow. Okay, bam. Craft, oh. Bingo, bingo, bongo, put it there. Down we go. Fiat Luke's. I'm nervous. Oh, oh, that thing means we're close to another uh, research station thingy-majiggy. 
Holy tits. Oh, I'm on edge. I am so on edge right now. Oh, that's a different kind of ant. Oh, that's a di- Nope. 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 We'll come back. We're not ready to fight anything right now. Nope. Nope. That guy's got some pincers. He's gonna serrate my ass cheeks off. Nope. Pete might be an alpha male. But he's also got a little bit of, a, of, of some brains on him, okay? You don't get the number one Minecraft server in middle school without having a little bit of brains on him. Oh, are these acorns? We need a hammer. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Acorn bits. Interesting. I don't know what we can do with them. Oh, an acorn shovel and a water container. Let's go. In a mushroom garden so we can, we can make food. Oh, that's big time, boys. No, 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 no. That's big time. See? Exploration is the spice of life. I feel like we need to keep gathering them up, too. Wouldn't be the worst idea we've ever had. Oh, God. Oh, wrong thing. Especially if we need him to make a shovel. Yeah, we might as well grab everything we can. And then what is this? More sap? Yep. We'll take that. Okay, well, I mean, that makes sense. So I guess if we want to get acorns. Oh, we can grab the shells, too. I didn't know that. Then obviously we come to the big oak tree. That's uh, That seems pretty uh, intuitive, if you ask me. What is that over there that's hanging down? Dude, there's just so much exploration to be had right now. I'm so deep in deep in it right now. I am immersed. I am immersed. Oh, it's right up there too. That looks like uh like we're like resin almost. And it's been it's been very nonchalant, very peaceful just to walk in the woods. Or backyard if you want to get technical about it. A sap clump. Ting. Oh my god, this thing is Oh baby. Oh baby. It only gives me two sap? Three sap? Okay. Four sap, I'm okay with. I'm hearing what could possibly be what sounds like it might be like a hornet's nest, and I'm shitting myself on the inside. Okay, well, I assume we got to go to the explosion over here. So let's do a little hardcore parkour here. It seems like this is also where the research station is. We're keeping our spear out because you never know what's going to happen. It's gone. Oh, it's another juice box over there. Dude, look how pretty. Dude, it, when, so when you get right here and you look at this, do you think like this map is so tiny, but then you get down there and you realize that you are just a speck of sand in this whole scheme. Got the beautiful roses. Oh, this is sweet. Okay, well, let's go explore this. Those look like different kinds of mushrooms. Are those what I think they are? Okay, we're not gonna go that way. 
That looks like two sleeping spiders. And I, I don't want to deal with spiders to begin with. But definitely not when they're woken up from a deep slumber. So let's investigate the, the tree of life. As I'm going to name it. Yoink! My meat, motherfucker! Oh, wow! What the heck is going on? Whoa! The Oak Lab. What the hell? What? Those look like idealized geometric shapes in that pink thing. They can't be real. Approval transcription unit 87.9.5. Order number one. Robot, I need you to monitor these power fluctuations and inform me if they exceed acceptable limits. Hello, my name is Gurgle, and I will be serving you today. I specialize in cooking, flipping, and g, -g grilling. Grilling? A feature useful only to your obsolete burger-flipping brethren now consigned to the scrap heap? I need you to monitor these readings, Burgle. And isn't it redundant to specialize in cooking and This guy's grilling? speaking like a true scientist. Understood. Appending monitor power fluctuations to my prime directive list. Deprioritizing grilling. <laughs> Good. Now get on with it. Reprioritizing grilling. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, it's just like a little cassette tape with some info with the audio log on it. I don't necessarily know what that does for us. We need to go over there, but I want to oh, I want to explore in this place. Look at this. Look how cool this is. Oh, God. No, you're giving me decisions. I don't want to do this before we know what needs to be done. Nope. We're going to explore first. That's locked. Interesting. Uh, well, do we try this? Oh, I don't know how we did it, but we did it. I don't know how we did it. Oh. We got a boss fight already, boys. Woo, you little robot. Oh, 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 back up, back up. All right, let's not get over eager. He's almost down. Let's go! I don't know what that did, but we did it. Woo, we probably should have blocked a little bit more there. Does it unlock this one too? Okay, so that one's still locked. But we got this one. Oh my goodness. Data link analyzing coordinates. I told y'all there was some freaky deaky shit happening in this backyard. Little did we know there's a whole lab in an oak tree. What is that? 
I don't know. I mean, I'm all for that. I still... Let there be light! I still don't know what exactly we are going to use them for at all. I have no idea. Is that grip or burgle? Hang on, burgle. Are you friendly, pal? Where are you hurt? I hope he's friendly. Thanks for the helping hand. Hey, buddy. I am B -B 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 Burgle, acting science manager for this project. I am also a robot. Nice. I am sure this all must be very disorienting for you, but hopefully I can explain. I hope so. I suspect you were miniaturized and brought here by the ominent researchers. Unfortunately, this is all speculation because a power surge has knocked out all the systems in this lab. I don't suppose you would know anything about that. No, why would you? Okay, moving on. The batteries here are completely drained, so we'll need to charge them up. In the meantime, I'll stay here and work on repairs. I'm also happy to answer whatever qu 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 questions you might have. End of story content? Wait! No, man! What the heck? I thought this game was gonna have a full story. No, it's gonna be one of those games where they release it over time. Oh. I mean, the rest of the game is great. It's just it's just disappointing because I really was digging this game. And I'm still going to play it, but now I'm not going to be as invested in it. But we can still make a few more episodes and uh, get, get on. I guess have a good base for when they do release the new, the new story aspects to the game, man. Damn it. That's a bummer. We completed the story content all within two days. And there's so much mystery to be had. Oh my goodness. I still don't even know what these research, or these raw science points do. Verbal transcription unit 87.10.25. Order number 73. I find it a wonder that the Burgle Mark IVs never caught on. I, I believe them to be far superior to the Mark III's. Those never lived up to my expectations. How's that? They can only calculate post-cooking burger weights to the nearest tenth of a pound. And they only had enough memory for one seasoning module, salt or pepper. Oh, a storage chest. Let's All go. All with you, Mark IVs, not to mention your most excellent mustaches. Thank you. I will never forget this moment. A smoothie station. Let's go. All right, so there's nothing else that we can we can analyze. Very very intriguing. Do we want to open this door? Okay, so that leads us back to the very uh, to the very beginning. Damn it, man. I was so excited for this. I mean, there's still a lot of things. Like, we need to go take out that ant. We need to go build the base. We need to go take out the spider. We need to go explore. I mean, hell, there's, like, we're just to... We have barely explored, honestly, hardly anything. So we're going to go to the ends of the, the backyard. That doesn't sound as cool as into the earth. But we're going to go explore a lot of this map. But it is kind of sad that we can't do some story quests along the way. I just realized we have no water. That's not ideal. Okay. I tell you what, guys. I am going to call this episode here. I appreciate you guys hanging out with me yet again for another episode here in our Grounded playthrough. The end of the story content, but not the end of the episodes. Like I said, we still have we still have quite a bit that I would, I would like to get done. So I hope you guys... Are, um, are ready for that journey, and um, I hope you guys have been enjoying it so far. I, I love this game right now. It feels so fun to just go out and explore like just your little kid in the backyard. It's a perfect analogy. 
So I hope you guys are having an absolutely fantastic day or night whenever you guys are watching this, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, YouTube.